As a content creator, sometimes you want to mix, monitor, or edit with your speakers out loud, but other times you only want to use your headphones. And if you're anything like me, you need to switch back and forth between your monitors and your headphones hundreds and hundreds of times a day. And if you're using the Tascam Model 12 to power your studio, it's not easy to do that. In fact, there's no way built into this unit that you can make that happen. Which, to be honest, for a $600 piece of gear that is otherwise a miracle, it's kind of frustrating, especially when there's like hundreds of buttons already on this thing. But wishing isn't gonna get us anywhere, so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create a monitor situation where you can switch between your speakers and your headphones and produce a mix minus setup for doing live streaming or remote podcasting. Let's get into it. Hey, I'm Brian Miller, and welcome to Audio for Content Creators, where we help you sound better and level up for all your content creation needs. See, the big design flaw in the Model 12 is that the headphones are tied to the main outputs. And when you're using the Model 12 as a USB interface, it uses the mains as what it sends over the USB. So if you're live streaming or doing remote podcast recording, the main outs are what this is sending over the USB. One of the quirks of the Model 12 is that in order to use it as a USB interface, you actually need to set channels one and two to PC, which happens up here. Then you need to set channel one all the way to the left panned and channel two to the right panned. And now you actually have your PC return coming in on channels one and two, split left and right, just like it's supposed to. What this means, however, is that if you're doing a live stream or a remote podcast, if you're talking to anybody, if you're on a Zoom call, anything like that, any of the audio coming out of your computer is being monitored here through inputs one and two. The problem with that is that anyone that's talking to you on a live stream, on a Zoom call, on a remote podcast recording, their voice is coming into your monitoring through channels one and two. But channels one and two are also sending back into the computer, which means that the person's going to hear an echo of their own voice coming back to them. And it's incredibly frustrating, and this is what Mix Minus is for. Hey, other hey, Brian, Brian, I heard I you heard wanted to find, find out what it sounds like when a Mix Minus is not, is not engaged. engaged. Well, well this, this is what, is it, what sounds it sounds like. like. It's, it's very, very difficult, difficult to talk, to talk. It's, it's very, very difficult, difficult to concentrate. concentrate. But, but if you engage, engage that, that Mix Minus, minus now it should be so much easier for me to talk to you, to have a conversation. Thanks so much for fixing that. Luckily, there are lots of additional output options we get on the back panel of the Model 12. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leverage the sub outs to create this new routing solution. In order to make this work though, you're gonna need a couple of pieces of equipment. And depending on what you already own and what you don't, this could run you anywhere from just 60 bucks to $200 to do this, which is not what a lot of people wanna hear after they've already spent 600 bucks on a piece of gear, but that's where we're at and I hope this helps. So here's a rundown of all the gear you will need to make this solution work. First, the hub of this entire solution is a Mackie Big Knob Passive Monitor Controller. I managed to snag one of these on eBay for like 45 bucks. Check your local marketplace, check eBay, they pop up all the time. In a nutshell, the Big Knob allows you to have two input sources and two output sources that you can toggle between independently. Plus it's got a big freaking volume knob, which is a wonderful thing to have on your desk. Plus a mute switch and a dim switch, which I find myself using constantly. And even a mono switch for the music producers out there who wanna check their stereo mixes in mono before they finalize. And to reiterate, this is a passive controller. You don't need to plug this into power at all. It's purely analog, it's purely passive, which is wonderful to not have another thing to plug in. Next, you're gonna need a headphone amplifier. I'm using a very, very cheap Behringer 4 headphone headphone amplifier. And what this essentially does is it allows you to take a single headphone jack out of any device and split it into four individual independent headphone signals. So f up to four people can actually plug their headphones in and each of them have individual volume control. So I could have mine louder or quieter than yours and vice versa. Each person can dial it in. And lastly, you're gonna need cables. You're gonna need a lot of cables. You'll need four, count them, four XLR to quarter inch TRS mono cables. You'll need two quarter inch to quarter inch TRS mono cables. And you'll need one specialty cable, a split quarter inch TRS mono to a quarter inch TRS stereo. Whew. 
Okay, now that we've got all of our cables, we've got the Mackie Big Knob, and we've got our headphone amplifier, let's handle the routing. First, we're gonna use our XLR to quarter inch TRS cables to connect the main outs on the Model 12 to source one on the Big Knob. Then you're gonna use your quarter inch to quarter inch TRS cables to connect your sub outs on the Model 12 to source two of the Big Knob. So now we have two ways to get audio out of the Model 12. We have the mains, which is typically what people use, and that's what's going to go over the USB. And we have sub outs, which in just a little bit, we're gonna see we can route different audio to the subs than the mains, and that's how we're gonna handle the mix minus. So we're gonna take our quarter inch TRS to XLR cables and go out of monitor one and the big knob to our speakers, our monitors. Now, if your monitors don't take XLR, if they take quarter inch, then here you would actually need a quarter inch to quarter inch cable instead of the quarter inch to XLR. This depends on what speakers or monitors you have. And now we're gonna run monitor two from the big knob into our headphone amplifier using that specialty cable. You'll need the left and the right quarter inch TRS split monos coming out of monitor two in the big knob, and that's running the quarter inch stereo TRS into the input of your headphone amplifier. Whew. So just to clarify at this point, we've got two different ways to come out of the Model 12. We've got the main outs and the sub outs, and we can select those sources on the big knob. And we've got two different ways to monitor the audio coming out of the big knob. One of them is our speakers, our monitors, and one of them is our headphone amplifier. And so lastly, plug your headphones into headphone jack one of your headphone amplifier. And now we need to head into the menu system of the Model 12 to make sure everything's set up properly. Go into menu, go into system, go to USB audio, and make sure that you are set to stereo mix. Then set your main and sub sliders to unity gain. At this point, even if you don't care about mix minus, you are now set up to switch back and forth between your speakers, your monitors, and your headphones. And to do that, you're simply gonna use the monitor select button on your big knob. When it's depressed, you'll be listening to your monitors, and when it's pressed in, you'll be listening to your headphones. Now, let's set ourselves up for mix minus. Now that we've separated our Model 12 into two different outputs, mains and subs, we can decide what we wanna to go to the mains and what we wanna to go to the subs. So, anything that you don't want to be sent back into the computer, that you don't want your guests to hear if you're on a Zoom call or a live stream or a remote podcast recording, you're going to get rid of the mains on those channels. Right down here on all the channels, every single channel has a button for main and every single channel has a button for sub. So press in the subs on every single channel because you are gonna monitor out of the subs, which means you want to hear everything that's coming in or out of this board. But you're gonna depress the mains button on anything you don't want sent back into the computer. So you don't want the computer's output sent back into itself, right? You don't want the person who's talking on Zoom to hear their voice come back to them. So depress the main on both channels one and two. So now we're gonna press in the source button on our big knob to select the subs. In other words, everything that you're gonna be hearing, whether it's in your speakers or in your headphones, is going to be the sub outputs from the Model 12. And that's good because we chose every single thing on this board to go to the subs. So you're gonna hear everything. You're gonna hear yourself, you're gonna hear whatever else is going through the board, you're gonna hear the people talking on Zoom or on the live stream or remote podcast to you. But because it's the mains that get sent through the USB and you've unselected the PC return on channels one and two from the mains, they won't hear their voices coming back to them. And now you've got mixed minus. So although it was kind of complicated and a little expensive to set up, you now have a one button simple solution for switching between your headphones and your speakers anytime you need to very quickly. And without having to turn your speakers on and off all day, because honestly, when I reached out to Tascam, that is the solution their customer service offered me was, well, if you don't want to hear it in your speakers, just turn your speakers off. And I remember going, yeah, but, but, but I switch back and forth hundreds of times a day so I can monitor in my room, I can hear how the audio sounds in a natural way, and then I can 
put my headphones on and hear the clarity and hear any of the weird mistakes or hear anything uh, nuanced that I would miss by having it in my speakers. And I think many, many content creators, if not most, do this if they care about their audio. We switch back and forth all day, every day. So the solution for turning your speakers on and off constantly just seems really silly. And it would have been nothing to put one button somewhere on this board. I mean, look at how many freaking buttons are on this board. One button right here that would have been, oh, like on, on, on the mains over here, just one button that would have been switched between the mains and the headphones. Or a button that, that allows you to toggle between do I want mains and headphones on simultaneously or do I want them to work independently? It would have been really simple to add here given how much is already here. And of course, this also allows you to have this mix minus, which anybody using this uh, as a USB interface will have discovered is a real problem that wasn't built into the board at all. Uh, this is something that Rode, even though I'm not a big fan of the Rodecaster Pro, this is something they built right into the board. It's a digital mixer. There's no reason not to have a digital solution for mix minus built into the board. But alas, it was not built in here. I think Tascam got really wrapped up in making this, even though it's a digital mixer, feel as analog as possible. And so a few of these quirks that you would expect in a digital mixer in a USB interface today uh, are missing awkwardly in an otherwise incredible system. I love this thing. It is the hub of my studio. I can't imagine what I would do without it these days. But we do need some workarounds for a few common situations, and I hope this video helped you. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Brian Miller. Thanks so much for sticking with me. Come back anytime to sound better and level up. Let me know if you have any more questions on tips, tricks, things to do with the Model 12, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.